No, I mean, Kristen is by all accounts a pretty extraordinary teenager. A world record breaking power lifter who can lift almost three times her own body weight. Now, to put that in perspective, that's twice my weight just after Thanksgiving. There's a new independent lens documentary called Supergirl coming to PBS. It gives us an intimate portrait of a champion athlete as she navigates the perils of adolescence, the stress of competition, and her strict religious obligations. Here's a look. She's been powerlifting since she was eight years old. So this one's when I set the all-time world record for the first time. With her family beside her. Strict Orthodox family is never in a million years put their girls in sports. I want her to be able to do things that she's remarkable at. This is the biggest competition Ami has ever been at. I really want to break the record. Can she become the strongest girl in the world? Supergirl. I'm pleased to welcome the film's director, Jesse Orrett and Supergirl herself, Nami Kutten, to the programme. Jesse, Nami, real pleasure to have you here. Nami, have to start with you. Um, what's the buzz, what's the thrill you get from lifting? I guess just the thrill of just going out on the platform at competitions and just getting into the mindset of lifting the weight and just going up and just giving him everything I have each time I go out on the platform. That's just really, uh, I really enjoy that and breaking new records and going after different goals and accomplishing them, all of that is just I really enjoy. Where did it all begin? What got you into the sport? My dad actually got me interested in the sport when I was eight years old. Um, I had been doing soccer and karate and different activities to try to figure out what I really enjoyed doing and what I wanted to invest time in. And at one of my karate uh, classes, my dad showed up. Usually my mom would take me. And he saw I was doing push-ups really well and running really fast and jumping really high. And he himself has actually been powerlifting for over 30 years. So we have a gym in our basement and I grew up watching him work out. So when he saw that class of mine, he thought that maybe it would be something I'd be interested in and we could do it together and it would be a bonding activity and it would be fun. So, yeah. I think we have some, some footage of you uh, lifting in your basement and in competitions. Uh, what strikes me is that the preparation, the focus you put in before actually going into the lift is, is incredibly intense. Uh, take me through those, those moments before you're lifting. Is it physical? Is it mental? I guess, in essence, my question is, what, what enables you to lift more than you ever have done before? Definitely, uh, you know, part of it is physical. I always am training, obviously, like, warming up and making sure you don't just go straight from zero pounds to 500 pounds. I mean, I can't lift 500 pounds. <laughs> I'm just going to the heaviest Not weight. Not far off. <laughs> <laughs> One day, hopefully, yeah. Definitely working towards that. Um, you can't just, like, go through straight to the heavy weights. You have to, like, warm up. So definitely a lot of it is physical. But I'd say that the majority is definitely mental because I could walk up to a bar that's, like, not a heavy weight, but if my brain isn't in it, I'm not going to lift it. So definitely I have to focus on just taking whatever I'm thinking about school, friends, family, any situation, just take it out of my brain. And I have to try to solely focus on the goal in front of me, the weight, and I have to just focus on that and just take all of my energy. And yeah. Right pretty there. Easy to yeah. mean, Jesse, let me ask you this. Uh, watching the documentary, it's pretty easy to see why you'd be so compelled by Naomi's story. Uh, but I wonder how you managed to find her in the first place. What attracted you to her particular story? Why did you want to tell it? Well, I was doing some research online um, for a potential new project and came across an article about Naomi uh, that was in the Jewish Daily Forward about her lifting feats. And I was really fascinated that this young girl was participating in this very male-dominated sport and and was also from this Orthodox Jewish tradition, which from what I understood typically as traditional gender roles. So, you know, not only was she breaking these gender stereotypes in the sport, but also her religion. And to me, I just found that really intriguing and wanted to find out what was kind of going on beyond the headlines. Now, I mean, Jesse mentioned there your, your religion. Um, in the documentary, your mom mentions that in in your circles, your participation in powerlifting could be seen as uh, controversial. It, it could lead to you being shunned. Um, have you experienced any of that? What's been the reaction from your, your friends and your teachers to your participation in powerlifting? Uh, all my friends and teachers and really everyone in my community really rallies around me and is very, very, very supportive. I have an extremely supportive group of friends and my school is very supportive of what I'm doing. They, whenever I go to a competition and break records, they put it on their Facebook page, like, oh, look what our student has done. They really are very supportive. So I'm really thankful to my community is really very open and accepting of what I'm doing. You mentioned there the, the competitions you go to. My favorite part of the documentary um, was at one of these competitions. It actually was one of the competitions where you perhaps um, didn't perform to how you would have liked to that day. 
Um, but nevertheless, the reaction after it was pretty spectacular. I want our viewers to take a look. It was awesome. I'm so impressed by seeing that. I'm just amazed. That's a, an amazing amount of weight for anybody. <laughs> she proud of yourself. That's huge. Absolutely, no, she can take it. She, she earned it. You made my day. Watching you was awesome. You're welcome. Yeah, you're welcome. You're an awesome job. You're awesome. Be proud. I'm awesome. Put it on, girl. You earned it. The reaction there is, is spectacular to the, the fact that Naomi can, can lift almost three times her own body weight, following her to the, the competitions and seeing the people she was surrounded by. What struck you most about their reactions? Yeah, you know, I didn't know what to expect um, when we started this film and went to our first competition. I was not familiar with the powerlifting community or the sport really at all. Um, and, you know, I had, there are stereotypes, like those guys you yeah. see, you know, they're three times her size at least. Um, and they can be a little intimidating in talking to, um, to Naomi. You know, I, she had said that sometimes, at least when she first started lifting, they were a little bit intimidating. But then you meet these guys and they're so warm and yeah. so welcoming and, Everyone was really supportive of Naomi and her family. And even though, you know, they're not the typical lifters that you see at these competitions, they're totally part of the community. And that was really, really great to see. And, and not necessarily, you know, I didn't know what to expect. So it was like, an, it was a nice surprise. The film also, towards the end, covers um, the issue of weight and how that's incredibly important when it comes to powerlifting and the difficulties that a powerlifter can sometimes face when you're going towards a competition you want to be within a certain weight classification. So time is spent making sure you come in just under the weight, but not over. It, it seems quite stressful. So my question being is, do you find it overwhelming? And how do you navigate the dangers of potentially becoming obsessed by weight? There is the weight aspect that you have to keep in mind. So it's the training along with the weight. And uh, when, before I go to a competition, I see the different weight classes. And if, I, if I'm really far away from the weight class, like say it's a month or two out and I'm 10 pounds away, at that point, it's like, that's, I could make it if I really wanted to, but that's risky. Like, don't risk your health. Don't drive yourself crazy. At the end of the day, I compete at the next weight class. The world doesn't end. Everything keeps going on. And a record is a record, but my health is more important to me. Always, definitely more important. Brilliant. Well, it's a superb film. So, Jesse, congratulations for your work. Naomi, congratulations for all of your achievements, and thank you so much for joining us today. Thank, thank you. you. And just want to remind the viewers, Supergirl, the documentary, debuts on PBS's Independent Lens this coming Monday, December the 18th. You can just head on over to our website. That's metrofocus.org for information on your local listings. <laughs>